Okay, let's make our first Python program. We need to start up the Python environment, which is called idle, which will be a program you'll find somewhere on your computer. Here it is on my Mac. This will bring up a Python shell. You can just type Python commands here to see if they work, but we are actually going to put them in a file, a program, which is basically just a text file with a list of commands. Let's new window. So and here we have it. And now we type the commands in here. Let's do a simple one line program. Let's just print I love Zix. program now we need to save it save put it somewhere I'll put it on the desktop in this case and give it a name I'm going to call this one simple dot pi the dot py tells your system that it is a Python program now we need to run it I'm going to run run module ah brilliant Let's make the program a bit more complicated. We can put in a comment. Comment lines are not intended for the computer to execute them. They're just for the benefit of you when you read the code. They're actually very important because in the real world, far more time is spent trying to understand and fix someone else's code or your own code from a few years ago than is ever spent writing new bits of a computer program. So it's well worthwhile with any reasonably complicated piece of code putting in some comments. Blank lines, you can put in as many as you like in Python to make it clear. Now let's set up a variable. A variable just is a name referring to a part of the computer memory where it can store numbers and do things with them. So let's call our variable, I don't know, let's call it A, and what value should we give it? Let's say 2. I'll have another variable, B, which is, let's say, 3. And we can have yet another variable, or no, no, sum, equals A plus B. Now, sum has come out purple, which means that's actually a Python command. That's a bit dangerous, so let's call it something else. Uh, let's call it C. Um, okay, so that looks good. And now let's print that. Print C. Notice up here where we said print I love physics. I love physics was just some words. We didn't want it to decide that I was a variable, love was a variable, or physics was a variable. So we put it in quotes, which tells Python just to treat it as a bunch of characters to print. Down here, C is not in quotes, which means it's actually a variable. So instead of just printing the letter C, it'll print whatever the outcome of this is. Now let's save that and run it. So it's successfully added two to three.